In this video we evaluate the Orb Slam 2 algorithm in outdoor urban scenes. Therefore, we utilize the Stereolabs Z camera. The Orb Slam 2 is provided open source by Mer et al. The Stereolabs Z camera has a baseline of 120mm. We captured the data with HD resolution. For the recordings we place the camera on top of a car facing into the driving direction. We captured image sequences in the city of Kaiserslautern, Germany. The captured data covers different scenarios like the university area, parking area or urban area. We show here some sample sequences only. In this sequence we run the Orb Slam 2 algorithm on a sequence captured on a supermarket parking lot. The green points in the captured images show the matched orb feature points. They are triangulated to map points as shown in the top left. The determined camera positions are depicted in blue. The trajectory is determined quite precisely in this example. When it comes to a loop closure, the divergence is quite small. After the loop closure the whole trajectory is optimized. A similar example is the university parking lot. The loop closure works here multiple times. Now, we show a very long sequence of 2.2 kilometers around our university campus. When it should come to a loop closure, the trajectory diverged already a lot. However, the loop closure can correct the whole trajectory. The final trajectory after loop closure is shown here on the right. For comparison we show the same street in Google Maps. This suggests high quality results of Orb Slam 2. However, there are also bigger issues with the algorithm. For example, there is a high dependency on the frame rate. On the left we show the estimated trajectories for different frame rates. The blue trajectory is determined by loop closure and can be seen as reference. The other trajectories show divergence caused by the different frame rates. On the right we show the videos for the different frame rates. In this example we show the loop closure for a long sequence of 3 kilometers in an urban area. On the left we use 10 frames per second, on the right 30 frames per second. In this example we show how even the tracking can get lost due to the frame rate. Now. We show some additional challenges for Orb Slam 2. In this sequence we have a lot of direct sunlight. At the end the tracking gets lost, since feature points cannot be matched anymore. In this sequence we show a fast rotation, where the tracking is lost again. In case tracking gets lost, Orb Slam 2 has the capability to relocalize itself again in the created map. Thanks for watching our video.